Good day everyone, I am Renakel Embaloria and today I am going to discuss to you about the characteristics, processes, and ethics of research. The characteristics of both qualitative and quantitative researches are presented. However, a section to highlight qualitative research is discussed. Ethical considerations forms a part of this lesson as a significant element of the research process. Further, the discussion also presents the ethics of research probing into its functions and principles that must be observed by the researchers. Important considerations should be noted as the study being conducted especially on matters concerning the participants of the study. There are seven characteristics of research. First, empirical. This empirical characteristics, it means that most of the researches are based on a real-life situation. Number two, systematic. Systematic means there are procedures to be followed and the researchers are advised to follow the research guidance. Number three, controlled. In controlled, all variables must keep constant except to those that are tested. Number four, employs hypothesis. The hypothesis guides the investigation process. Number five, analytical. In analytical, the researchers must analyze critically so that there is no error in the researcher's interpretation. Number six, objectives. If you are doing research, you must have an objectives and all the findings are logically based on empirical data means based on a real-life situation. Number seven, original work. This characteristics is so important because you must have an originality in order for you to be proud of your research. Other characteristics of research. Number one, concern for context and meaning. Qualitative research is bounded by a particular context which the research aims to study. Since its context bound the human experience, takes its meaning from social, historical, political, and cultural influences. Number two, naturally occurring settings. Qualitative research studies behavior as it happens naturally in a school, classroom, community, or an organization. Number three, humans as instruments. Only a human being can do the field work methods such as interview, observation, and documentary analysis. Number four, descriptive data. Data in qualitative studies are in the form of words or pictures or other visuals rather than numbers and stat. Number five, emergent design. In qualitative research, the design cannot be finalized at the onset because the researcher continues to adjust his or her methods and ways of proceeding as the study progresses. So there are three types of research. Number one, library research. This type is done primarily in the library where answers to specific questions or problems are available. Number two, field research. The research is done in the natural setting such as barangay, school, or factory. Number three, laboratory research. This type is conducted in an artificial or controlled conditions by doing the study in a thoroughly specified and equipped area. Ethics and research. Ethics refers to it as norms for conduct that distinguish between acceptable and unacceptable behavior. These are direct networks among people because they recognize some common ethical norms but interpret, apply, and balance them in different ways in the light of their own values and experiences. To be ethical, a research project needs to be designed to create valid outcomes if it is believed to be pursuing truth. Flick argues that qualitative researchers need to be as vigilant or positive about ensuring the validity and reliability of their studies even if they choose to use other terms such as credibility and authenticity in the trustworthiness of their studies. Research that is untrustworthy is unethical.
Researchers have a duty to ensure that they do not deliberately mislead participants as to the nature of research. In both virtual and physical worlds, researchers are ethically bound to maintain the privacy of participants including confidentiality for any information they are and anonymity for their identity. Functions of Ethics so, ethics as important component in research writing shows the following functions. Number one, norms promote the aims of research such as knowledge, truth, and evidence for error. Number two, ethical standards promote the values that are essential to collaborative work such as trust, accountability, mutual respect, and fairness. Number three, Ethical norms ensure that researchers can be held accountable to the public. Number four, ethical norms in research is research that helps build public support, quality, and integrity of research. So here are some ethical principles. I will not discuss it one by one because it is sabotable. Number one, honesty, objectivity, integrity, Carefulness, openness, respect for intellectual property, confidentiality, responsible publication, respect for colleagues, social responsibility, non-discrimination, competence, and legality. So, the research ethics skills that need also to be developed are, so, number one, to be able to identify the ethical issues in the study to know and be prepared how to add them. Ethical considerations in qualitative research. Let us consider ethical issues that may be inherent in qualitative research. Number one, the kind of information obtained because of the length and personal interaction that ensues when doing a qualitative inquiry may give rise to an issue or issues. The researcher may encounter uncover or get hold of practices that may not be acceptable. What there does he or she do? One rule that must always be followed is that the person is obliged to report practice such as child abuse, drug use, abusive teaching, and the like. Number two, with regards to the researcher's relationship to the participants, the researcher is expected to act professionally maintaining respect towards them. The issues of anonymity and confidentiality are to be observed. In field notes, particularly when conducting a sensitive research, false names or code numbers are used to be to track of what information are from what without realizing or revealing rather their identities. The researcher is expected to give back to the subject, participants of the research, and to show appreciation for their commitment of time, effort, and cooperation. This act may be to provide a written report, present finding in assembly, give assistance or advice on other research projects at their workplace and others. Research is a process that requires patience and thought. There is no easy way to make certain that you have exhausted every resources and found the best research. Research is more of an art rather than a science. First step in research is define research problems, then review the literature and move to formulate hypotheses, then design your research, collect data and analyze data, then last interpret and report your research so that ends my topic for today i hope you learned something and hope to see you again and once again i am renekel and Baloria. thank you and god bless you all bye bye